For the first time in four decades, Wisconsin recorded its highest voter turnout for a non-presidential primary. More than 1.2 million voters hitting the polls on Tuesday. That is according to unofficial tallies at this point. CBS 58 Capitol correspondent Emily Fannin has more on those numbers and how they may have helped a Republican candidate. Emily. Jessup, unofficial results show 700,000 Republicans voted in the GOP primary race for governor. A majority of those, of those votes went to Tim Michaels, who broke voting history in Wisconsin, defeating his top opponent without the Milwaukee suburbs. This race has been about getting proper executive leadership in the governor's mansion. Tim Michaels changed the dynamic in Wisconsin politics Tuesday. The Republican who will face incumbent Governor Tony Evers this fall was able to win every region of Wisconsin over his top primary opponent, Rebecca Clayfish. Political science experts say Michaels was able to win big by having Donald Trump's endorsement and having the ability to throw over $10 million of his own money in the race. And when Donald Trump gets involved, you can bet that people are gonna start paying attention. On top of all the money that was spent, Donald Trump's presence in the race undoubtedly motivated voters. For nearly two decades, the path to victory in highly competitive GOP primaries ran through the Milwaukee suburbs, often referred to as the Wow Counties, Waukesha, Ozaki, and Washington. It's a trend that didn't ring true for Team Michaels. Michaels lost to Clayfish by five points in Waukesha and Ozaki, but dominated Washington County, winning by nine percentage points. It simply wasn't enough for Clayfish to overcome Michaels' big leads elsewhere in the state. It makes you wonder if the balance of power geographically here in the Republican Party in Wisconsin is changing, where the heart and soul of the Republican Party in Wisconsin could be more geographically dispersed. The question now is how much will of an imp impact will Donald Trump have in the general election? We've already seen Michaels pivot from saying originally his top priority was election integrity to now saying it's jobs and the economy. It could be a sign of Michaels trying to appease sw swing voters who might have been turned off by Donald Trump. Reporting in Madison, Emily Fannin, CBS 58 News.